Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. As always, I'm Astro Artwork and today's video is going to be a little bit different than usual. Now, if you have seen my past videos, I've usually had this background where I show my action figures, comic books, trophies and few of my paints. But what you didn't know is that this corner of my room was where I usually set my where I usually had my first art table set up and where I did my videos. However, I had to move it to the other side for better lighting and so I basically set up my geek wall, you can say. But now I think it's time for a makeover. Well, that's the damage that I had done to my walls. Do bear in mind, I dabble in many coloring mediums, so it's bound to get messy. <coughs> ah yes, my most treasured collectives, filled with dust, more dust and cobwebs, a lot of cobwebs. Damn, this place needs a lot of cleaning. Well, before we get started, safety first, gotta grab my mask. When I started cleaning the wall, my main objective was to dust off everything, remove the shelves and fix the holes and then start painting. But, I kept getting lost in a couple of memory lanes. Happy Valentine's Day. No, no, no. Snap out of it. Come back to reality. Focus. You got some work to do right now. Growing up, I used to love comics, I still do, but I hardly have the time to read any right now. And I must say, I have a pretty decent collection with me, from the standard US books to the old Indian versions, which did come with some cool posters such as this. Electra and Daredevil. Pretty cool, huh? To all the current Beast Quest readers out there, do you still get this collector's card with the book? I doubt you do. Let me know. And here's the actual book series that got me into reading books. I used to hate reading books, you know? Shout out to my old school friend, Kasuma Kuham. He's the one that actually got me into reading books. With the clearing of the shelves complete, it was time to scrub the wall before painting. So I sanded the wall and tried my best to scrape away the paint which was there. The next part was the tricky part, the design. Up until now, my shelves were placed over L bars. But this time I wanted them to be fixed directly to the wall itself. So, how many shelves? Two long ones? Two long ones and two short ones? Seems too much, doesn't it? Next up, the color. I knew I wanted grey blue, but there were so many grey blues. At this point, I was getting frustrated. And that's when I came across this setup. A friend of mine on Instagram had posted his workplace, work table, I guess. So I reached out to him and asked how he did it. And he said that he did everything through a carpenter that he knows. So I got his contact number and contacted him right away. And gave all my shelves to him and got them completely painted in white. And just like that, 
problem solved. So here's the shells right after, not looking too bad, a little bit messy at the moment. It didn't cost me much either. And I did a little bit of messing around to see what fits and what doesn't. And I got the short shelves in white as well to make a different background over here. Looks pretty good. I need to do something for the glare however. And now for the final arrangements. With everything being completed, there's this sense of satisfaction. Most of you may not even like this, but I do. And that's what matters, doing what you love. This isn't a huge makeover, but it's simple and effective. And it's something that I can look at and be happy of at the end of the day. Here it is everyone, my new backdrop. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. As you all know, I'm an artist with a budget and this didn't cost me much. Let me know what you think. And until next time, stay safe and I'll see you in the next video.